Hey guys, it's Taylor. Thanks for tuning in. I'm here to drop some knowledge about being a new realtor and why you actually do need a realtor if you're in the buying or looking to buy. Um, so I have gotten a couple questions and comments about this and I just wanted to come and chat with you guys one on one um, just to make, you know, my perspective and my insight known. Um, so number one, yes, as a new realtor, I can still be an asset to you. I'm 60 days in and I am confident that I can still be an asset to you. Why? Because the home buying process is actually, you know, it can be a lengthy one. It can be a stressful one. And if nothing else, I'm just here to be an advocate for you, for you and your family and to make it an enjoyable experience if I can. You know, I'm going to do everything in my power to do that. Um, the education that I've gone through, the certifications, the licensing, um, the team that I chose to work with, all of those people will be rooting for you once you're my client, which is just awesome. Why wouldn't you want someone in your corner? Um, but I am new. I am new. And I think what we lack a lot of the time is, um, just the understanding that I'm I'm human and as a new realtor most realtors like myself we don't get a salary so we are sometimes part-time as I am currently and no matter if I'm part-time or full-time as a new realtor we're all equally hung hungry for our you know first few experiences and making this life change that we chose to do to get into real estate um so we're eager. We're going to give you 200% of our time, energy, and focus because we don't have a lot on our plate right now. But guess what? We still have those monthly and quarterly and annually fees. So we are eager to get started to help you because again, um, we are eager for a little bit of return on our investment as well, which doesn't come from you as a buyer. So this could literally be a expenseless fee for you to have someone like me on your side. So not only am I really a free resource, but I'm there to make sure that you know all the steps you're facing, um, the current step that you're going through right now, and um, just sort of be your guide along the way. So things like a buyer's representation agreement is just something that allows me to have a little bit of a safety net that lets me know that those hours that I'm putting in um, searching for homes for you or interacting with you and, you know, you're sending me homes that you found. I'm researching them on the MLS and, and on the background to make sure that, you know, they're in a good area. They're not on the flood zone. They do need this. They do need that. I was built before 1978. So you need this and all of those other things. So, um, there's just a lot of laws and a lot of stipulations out there that I had to learn that you don't have time to. So I'm there to be your resource. Um, I also wanted it to be known that that buyer's agreement is just a temporary one. Um, you don't always have to lock in and say, oh, you're my realtor until I find a house. If you want to say, hey, I'm going to give you 90 days to see if we can get it done because I want to be moved in by then. If not, I'm going to go with someone else or 30 days or 60 days, whatever your timeline is to make you feel comfortable, you can put that into your agreement and we can make that known. Um, so also we know in 2020 that we can't always trust everything online. So the question about do I really need a realtor or not because we have things like a Zillow, a Redfin, um, all the other things out there. We can't really guarantee that, you know, the Zestimate that you see on Zillow is going to pan, pan out. I've actually heard quite a few um, nightmares about things like that. So we really want to make sure that you get the facts. You are most prepared to make the best investment for you and your family. That's my goal because why? This is a client business. I cannot have you as my client having a bad experience and then you're telling your friends and family about that bad experience. I need you to have a great experience. So you tell them about the great experience you had and then they potentially come to me when it's time for them to look for a new home. Um, a referral is the best compliment I could ever receive from any of you feedback, your testimony, all of those things are things I want in order to grow and be the best realtor I can be. So I wanted to make those things known. If you do have any questions for me, 
I, if I don't know them, I never stop there. Again, I have those team of veteran um, realtors behind me and my team, my brokerage, my father, who I all rely on to get the facts and get them in a timely manner um, because I'm eager to get this ball rolling. So if you do have any further questions, again, leave them down below. Leave your email down below if you would like to have a one-on-one -on -one chat or if you'd like to sign up for personal information directly in your inbox. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.